I'll explore every legal avenue to expedite this matter and bring it to a swift conclusion. Continuing coverage tonight here on KITV on the latest scandal at the Capitol. Good evening, I'm Dita Payton. Governor Rick Perry took to the podium this afternoon for the first time since his indictment. He's accused of abusing his power by withholding state money. KITV's Rachel Kent was there when Governor Perry responded to the felony charges. She joins us now live from the Capitol. And Rachel, he came out swinging. That's right, Dita, he did, and he denied any of these allegations, saying all he was doing was protecting the taxpayers from spending money on an agency he claims the public has already lost faith in. As governor, I took an oath to faithfully uphold the Constitution of the state of Texas, a pledge that I have kept every day as I've worked on behalf of Texans for the last 14 years. In a news conference, Governor Rick Perry denied all allegations that he abused his power or coerced a public servant. I exercise this authority to veto funding for an office whose leadership had lost the public's confidence by acting inappropriately and unethically. Perry vetoed more than $7 million meant for the Public Integrity Unit, which is led by Travis County DA Rosemary Lemberg. Lemberg was arrested in April 2013 for a DWI with a blood alcohol content nearly three times the legal limit. Video shows Lemberg drunk and belligerent while having to be restrained by law enforcement. Do you really understand what you're doing? The details of my decision making were very clear. I said early on that I was going to clearly veto those dollars as long as they had someone in that office who I lost confidence in. And I did exactly what I said I would do. Executive Director of the Texas Democratic Party, Will Haler, says Lemberg served her time and Perry was using his power to try and force her out. When she has faced her time. She has uh, suffered the consequences of her decision. At the end of the day, what the governor tried to do today uh, is run away from the music. He's tried to escape from a reality in which uh, he abused his authority. Perry says given the chance, he would veto the funding again. I'm confident that we will ultimately prevail that this farce of a prosecution will be revealed for what it is. The Democrats see a much different outcome. There'll be a mugshot of him next week, and this is unbecoming of a leader, and that's why Texas Democrats have asked him to step down. Now, Perry, of course, said he will not step down. He plans to finish out his term. He also denied any allegations that he vetoed the funding because the Public Integrity Office was looking into his administration. Now, if found guilty, he could face up to 109 years in prison. Reporting live from the Capitol, Rachel Kent, KI TV News.